Welcome back to another RC Wars video. Today we're going to show you real quick how to measure GPM using nothing but a stopwatch or your cell phone, whatever you got on you. Anyways, let's jump right into it. It's pretty basic. So in order to uh, measure this, basically we're talking about a well system, so keep that in mind. Uh, you're going to need a pressure tank, so assume that you've got one of those if you're on a well system. So this here, we've got an 81 gallon pressure tank and you want to look at the manufacturer's drawdown uh, listing. In case you don't know the make of your pressure tank or if you happen to have a well control pressure tank or you just want some example numbers, this is linked in the description below. It gives you a generic idea of what your drawdown is going to be at the different pressure ratings. So this would be a well control tank in this example. So you have a 21.7 gallon drawdown on a 40 to 60. This is my pressure switch. Like, like this guy. I think I did a pretty good job drawing that. Um, anyways, it's a 40 to 60 setup, so we've got a 21.7 gallon drawdown, and it's a good time when you're checking all this to go ahead and verify that your pressure tank is set to two to three pounds below your pressure, uh, your cut in pressure on that uh, pressure switch. So 38 PSI is where we're at. And remember, we do have a video on how to check the pressure in your pressure tank, so I'm not gonna go through that in detail, uh, but it does involve draining the system out. Uh, so before you wanna uh, get started on with the stopwatch, what you need to do is get the system to where the tank is um, completely empty. So what we wanna do is first off, make sure nobody's gonna be using any water in the house. And then what you need to do is go ahead and open this valve. So you, you may have some sort of a, a valve, hose bib or something, hopefully really nearby, uh, because the closer you are, the more quickly you can react to this and the more accurate your measurement's gonna be. If you're doing this from outside or something like that, it may take two people to be able to communicate and it may not be as accurate. So basically what we're gonna do is, is drain everything down till the pressure switch kicks on and then as soon as we hear the pump kick on or we won't hear the pump kick on but the pressure switch kick on we're going to start that stopwatch we're going to measure how long it takes until that pressure switch opens again or turns off um, and we're going to measure that amount of time so then when we get our time over our drawdown that gives us our gpm so just to give you a quick example here, and the nice thing about the pressure switch is if you are pretty close with that hose bib is it's like click, click. It's a pretty significant and loud click. Um, so you just sit there waiting ready to hear that and you're good to go. Um, so let's just do a quick one here. Let's say it took four minutes to do our drawdown of 21.7 gallons. So that gives us a rough five-ish gallons per minute. So you can see really shorthand just how quick and simple this method is. Um, obviously, once you've drained the system down, you're gonna be doing two things because as soon as the system drains down enough, and you might, if you have a pressure gauge, it's kind of a handy tool here if you've got a pressure gauge to look at. So if you know the pump's gonna turn on at 40 and off at 60, um, you know, you may have this valve wide open until you get closer to that 40 mark where you know it's about gonna turn on. And then you start kind of closing it prematurely, not all the way, just so that you can get it closed really quickly and get the most accurate number you can. Because obviously if the pump turns on, this thing's open full bore, and you're quickly cranking on it to get it closed, you're letting water slip through and it's gonna skew your results. Um, so being quick with the valve and quick with the stopwatch is gonna give you a pretty accurate number. Um, and this, this method can be used even without a pressure tank, like the bucket test where you fill something up, measure how long it takes to fill it up, and if you know how much volume is there, like a five gallon bucket, for example, uh, you can do basically the same type of thing. So I hope that this helps you out if you were looking to how looking for how to measure gallons per minute this happens to be the pressure tank method so don't forget to like and subscribe if you found the video useful and we will catch you next time